Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. Today I'm going to show you how to safely upgrade to Butterflight and roll back to Betaflight if it all goes wrong. There's lots of noise at the moment about Butterflight. It's the latest and greatest flight controller software that everyone's raving about. It was just the same with Clean Flight and then Betaflight when they appeared. Butterflight is basically a fork of the Betaflight source that focuses on using Kalman filters to give you really smooth and natural flight characteristics with no vibrations and wobbles. And Kalman filters have been around for ages in the world of control engineering and it's great to see that developers are embracing them to improve things for us. All this means that Butterflight is just like a super release of Betaflight, so there's no reason why you can't just give it a try. But like everything, what happens when it goes wrong and you don't like it or it turns out to be rubbish and buggy? After all, this is just a beta version of Butterflight. So I'll show you how to upgrade your Betaflight software to Butterflight and be able to safely roll back to Betaflight if you need it. This is the quad that we're going to upgrade to Butterflight. It's my Armour Tank Chameleon that I've been flying very happily for the last year or so. There's nothing special about it and it's pretty standard really, separate components. And in here we've got a fairly generic Omnibus F4 flight controller board. I think it's from Banggood. And it's currently running Betaflight 3.2 point something. I can't remember which. We'll check that in a minute. Now, the purpose of this video is to show how to flash Butterfly onto this flight controller. But it's also to show you how to back up safely all the data and all the configuration that you've currently got on this machine so that you can go back to where you were. You're basically rolling everything back to where it was. Now you would think this would be pretty straightforward but in actual fact it's problematic and there's a few pitfalls. So the first thing we need to do is actually find out exactly what version of Betaflight is installed on here. So let's get this connected to our computer. And we can now connect to our quad. And let's have a look in command line interface, just type in version. And we're running beta flight for the Omnibus F4, which is correct, 3.2.4. I knew it was 3.2 point something. So let's quit out of that. We're going to reboot and reconnect. Now, on the setup page of the Betaflight configurator, there's a couple of buttons here to back up and restore your configuration. Now, on the face of it, you would think that this would be the best way to save everything you've currently got configured on your quad. But, unfortunately, this is not very reliable, plus it doesn't save everything when you do a backup. So, if you've gone into the command line interface and set something like small angle or some of your notch filters or something like that, then it won't actually save those settings. So the best way to actually create a snapshot of what's on your flight controller is via the command line interface. And I found this works every time. So in here just type in dump. So these are all the settings that are currently configured on your quad. And if you go over here and hit save to file, and I've got a backup directory that I store them in, and I will call this CLI dump 201803. There we go. So now we've backed up everything, all the configuration is safely stored away on a file, but if you want to be a bit belt and braces about this, let's just come out of here and we'll reboot. What you may want to do is just run through all these screens and just do a screen grab of every page. This is something I used to do when I wasn't absolutely convinced that saving the CLI dump was completely reliable, but I just use that all the time now. It's entirely up to you. We need to get hold of a copy of the Butterflight configurator. 
just go to butterflight.co and if you look down here there's lots of good stuff about latest settings and news and that's latest release and that sort of thing um, and we need to get a hold of the configurator so give me that butter and it chucks you into github just grab the installer that's appropriate for you we've got windows 32 windows 64 i'm running on a mac so i would grab this one it's already installed on this machine so i'm not going to go through that again just use the one that's appropriate for you so here we are in the butterfly configurator and there's a few starter settings here which we'll deal with in a minute but the first thing we need to do is flash butterfly onto our quad so it's detected we've got an omnibus f4 and we'll pick version 3.4.2 which seems to be the latest stable version make sure that you've got full chip array set because we want to wipe everything that was on the board and let's load this firmware there we go and now that's loaded we can flash it there we go successfully programmed now if you do get any bootloader type messages saying that bootloader not found or something like that just repeat the process because you may find it's just a com problem with the board okay so let's connect to our quad yay and we're talking if I grab my quad and that all looks great we're talking marvelous although we've got the plain vanilla butterfly installed I don't have any settings in here ports aren't set up we don't have the configuration set for S bus or anything like that now because this is a fork of the beta flight software what we can do rather than just go through these pages and manually type in everything we can actually restore it from the dump file that we saved earlier on so if you go to the command line interface first thing we'll do is just see what version we're running and we are Butterfly Omnibus F4 3.4.2 which is great so let's go back to the file which we saved earlier on which is this one if we select all this file and copy and this seems a little bit counterintuitive but it does work if you go to this single line text box here and just paste although you can't see it sort of scrolled off underneath if you just then hit return it's taking all those values that we saved away for the configuration that we had previously and we are setting them onto our new version of Butterflight and we need to type in save to commit those changes there we go let's reconnect to the quad have a look and see what's going on so my ports are set up it's actually pulled those in from the dump file i've got telemetry turned on the configuration was dshot 600 my pid loop frequency was 8k and sbus is all set up so this is almost ready to go but there are a few tweaks which you need to make to get the fast Kalman filters working if we disconnect and go back to the home page you'll see here it says make sure all the notch filters are turned off and these are the settings that you'll need to actually make it work I've already put these into a text file to make my life a little bit easier which are there but we will go in and turn off the notch filters you can find those on the pitch tuning page go to filter settings and these are the notch filters it's talking about just turn all these off and make sure you hit save go back to the command line interface and if we grab this text from here say copy and go back to the command line interface and paste that in hit return and it's enabling it's setting a low pass filter to PT1 enabling air mode enabling anti-grav plus a few other things and don't forget to type in save that's it butterfly is all installed and running on your quad so you can go out and give it a test flight but what happens now if you find that you don't like it or it's full of bugs 
or for whatever reason it just doesn't work for you and you want to go back to what you had before. Quite simple. Go back to Betaflight and go to the firmware flasher. It's again detected we're on Omnibus F4 and we had version 3.2.4 of Betaflight installed on here previously so we'll just select that. Again do a full chip erase. Load the firmware. That's all loaded. Version 3.2.4 for an Omnibus F4 and we can now flash this firmware onto our flight controller board. There we go, programming is successful, so we should be able to connect to our quad. We'll have a quick look and see what version we think we're running. Beta Flight, Omnibus F4, version 3.2.4. So we're back to the same version of the flight controller software that we had before we started. But we're not quite there yet because we need to restore from the command line dump that we did previously. So let's just go to that file which was this one here that I created and select all and copy. Go back to the command line interface and paste that into the text box and hit enter. So this is restoring all the configuration that we previously had. And don't forget to hit save. Reconnect. And let's have a look. So we have got telemetry set up. Configuration is correct. DSHOT 600. And my PID loop frequencies. Just check my PIDs. These are my PIDs. That's great. And modes are my modes. Excellent. And let's just go into the command line interface and type version as we did before nothing's changed and one thing I know I set in here was small angle so if I say get small angle and this is set to 180 the default is actually 45 I think so I know that I'm back with the version of beta flight that I previously had before I flashed butterfly onto this quad and I've got all my configuration back. I'm going to get Butterfly reflashed onto this Armatan Chameleon and get it out for a flight, but I hope that's fairly clearly shown that moving between different releases or even different types of software is very safe, so long as you make a backup of the previous version that you had installed. And you can just move between them as you like. I have actually got an upcoming build where I'm going to be using components specifically selected to work with Butterfly. They're going to be components that I think will work particularly well and I'll be doing a full build log and tutorial of that particular set of components. So why not just go for it? Get one of your quads that's got a suitable flight controller board, flash Butterfly onto it and give it a go and let me know how you get on. If you found that useful and you want updates Remember to like and subscribe to the channel here. It really does help me make better content. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you next time.